Such Wonders families. This is Maddie making a video for you guys with ideas to get outside. Starring my kids, John, Ruby, and May. It's also Gemma. <laughs> Here at the Lee Creek area. And it says, to protect sensitive nesting birds. You can climb the fence. This is a great place to explore. Um, it's very wide open. Let me flip the camera. It's very wide open so your kids can run free. As you can see mine are three are way up there. Gemma's going at her own pace back here in the back doing lots of exploring. We just walked out along that causeway maybe. And it looks like sometimes during the year you can walk along the wood flats. It's just closed right now. Birds, which we haven't seen any of the birds, the snowy plovers. Um, it's closed so that they can nest and they show up mid-March. I'm not seeing any today, but if you do come out here and see some, let us know in the comments and take a picture and post it. We would love to see snowy plovers and add that to our list of birds and animals that we've, we've seen exploring with CCNS. Here is a good spot you can tuck down if it's windy, have some lunch. If you walk over here, good spot for some rock climbing. All along here. I guess as long as there's no birds. Some fun science questions you guys could research or figure out out here. What one is, why is the sound sand round and how is it different than sand by the ocean? Number two, why is there even a great salty lake out here? Where does the salt come from? Number three, why is the water, the actual water, so far away? Let's see how far. so so far away I guess my last question would be do you guys think this the Great Salt Lake is actually an international treasure like the sign at the beginning said is it a Wasatch treasure international what do you think John yeah probably <laughs> there you have it